and I'm moving to my favorite day of harmonies. I started with listening to harmonies and uh, it was very simple because Tchaikovsky, um, Tchaikovsky's harmony always straightforward and really close to my heart. It's easy for me to recognize the harmonies, well, easier than, let's say, those shaded nuances of Debussy harmony. So it took me just 15 minutes. Then I was imagining each note uh, in that color of harmony. It took me 10 minutes. And uh, lastly, I was playing with harmonies imagining each note in harmony and um, it also took me 10 minutes so this is how it looked like when I was listening to harmonies so right away I discovered that the very first harmony is quite intense and then the results in beautiful D major which is the key of the piece very rich and beautiful and warm and the next one, even though it's the same kind of dominant, but it's a little bit less intense and more open, softer. Now we're going to something more... Mm, I don't know how to say... <laughs> softer and more celestial. And then the last one, again, more intense and painfully beautiful. <laughs> Again, beginning tense, more open, more open, and right away modulation to bright A major. And again, well, Tchaikovsky wouldn't be Tchaikovsky if at the end he wouldn't soften himself just like Chopin does. And I actually find out when you listen to harmonies of um, here, okay, let me just stop here, I'm just playing through the whole piece uh, very quickly just emphasizing the harmony, just to kind of remind myself the, the order of each harmony to make a more clear picture. But I was saying that uh, if you listen to harmonies of different composers, you can really see their character. And for example, the difference between uh, Chopin and Liszt is that Chopin even if he goes sometimes angry and crazy, right away, he doesn't go it for longer than two bars. After two bars, he can always see a soften, a soften harmony. He always comes back to soft nature. And the same with Tchaikovsky. He, he, never, he never keeps, you know, this tense, very dynamic harmonies, he always soft and soft himself. And um, so I didn't really record, uh, this is already step three when I'm playing the harmonies, but um, before that I mostly spent those ten minutes just staring at the score and imagining each note and harmony.